All right, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be looking at LACP trunks, or in the extreme world, sharing ports. Um, we're going to be trunking an extreme switch to a Aruba CX switch. Um, commands are very easy. This is kind of going to be a two-for-one video, so you're going to be able to see the extreme side linking up with uh, Aruba side. So if you need to do both, this is a good place to learn this. So um, we're just going to show you right off the bat what we got here on the extreme side. Um, we just have a couple things configured here already. <clears throat> uh, we do not have ports three and four configured yet. Those are going to be ports that we're going to be using for the port channel or the sharing ports. Um, we are going to be using this VLAN 10 uh, on the Aruba side for our link up between the two. Um, these other VLANs are just here for, uh, they were just kind of residue from previous videos. On the uh, interior, uh, sorry, on the Aruba side, it's just a basic config. There's nothing here. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to be setting this up completely. Uh, but let's start off with the extreme side. Um, the first thing you're going to have to do is do uh, enable sharing. Uh, we're using ports three and four. One thing to keep in mind on the extreme side is uh, when you enable sharing, or also known as uh, LACP, um, the very first port that you use is going to be designated as the master. So in this case, we are going to be using three as our master. So enable sharing three, grouping, and then the two ports that you're going to be using for your LACP trunk. So ports three and four, and then just LACP after that. Um, once you do that, it's going to tell you that uh, any port that's on the master port, which in this case is port three, is going to be deleted. That's okay. Um, once you get done with that, what we need to do is configure uh, the VLAN to work across that LACP. So all of your configurations that you're going to be doing, again, are going to be on that master port. So we are going to configure... Uh, oh, configure... Uh, I can't remember what it is. Show. Config VLAN. And then we're going to be using VLAN 10. And then we're going to be adding ports. And remember, it's just the master port. And then let's just say untagged. So we're adding the VLAN to ports three. Ports three, again, is the master port. We'll add it to three and four, and we're going to say untagged. So those are the only two commands that you have to run uh, on the extreme side uh, to get this to work. Now on the uh, Aruba side, it's conf t, and let's set up VLAN 10, and then interface VLAN 10. Set up the Routed interface 10.10.10.2 10, 10, 10. slash 24. Um, and then we also need to set up the lag. Um, I will show you one thing. What will happen if you try doing this on the actual interface first? So if you're in here and if you're actually trying to set up the lag first, it's going to say the lag doesn't exist. Well, the uh, Aruba switch doesn't actually configure this, the lags uh, right off the bat. So if you just go to the port first and you try to uh, set up your lag first, you're gonna get this error. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're doing this. So always go into your interface uh, lag one, or sorry, lag one first, and then we'll do a VLAN trunk native 10, because that's VLAN that we're using. Oh, we need to un. So no routing, in case you get that command, do a no routing, um, and then you'll be able to do a uh, VLAN trunk native 10. And LACP mode active, and a no shut to bring that port up. Once we have that done, we can go into our physical interfaces and say lag one, and make sure it is a no shut. And go into port four, the other side of our LACP trunk. Lag 
one, no shut. And now show LACP, show LACP interfaces. So here we can see interface 113 and 114. They are part of our lag. So we should be good on that side. And you can also see as well, if we are looking at this, it says up and then LACP block. So we have a block going on. Um, somewhere, but we should be able to ping across to the extreme side, which we can. So now let's try to figure out this LACP block here. Show sharing. So it's just saying the master is set, but we have three and four here. So what is going on? All right, so I guess I just did not give it enough time for uh, its lag to actually associate itself over with uh, um, the extreme. Um, after I waited like two or three minutes, um, it finally came up as, as a forwarding state. I didn't change anything, so it must have just taken a little bit. It could be just uh, GNS3 is just kind of slow. Um, but over on the extreme side, if you sh show sharing, uh, it'll show you kind of the same thing. Uh, here's your LACP. You can also do LA show LACP um, member port. We'll do three. It'll kind of give you a little bit more information with your current selected. Um, so there's a different a couple different commands you can use um, within here to see this, but just so you kind of get an idea of uh, what things look like in here. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you like this video, if it helped you out, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, follow. We appreciate it. Thank you.